Hello and welcome to The Long View with me, John Jordan. Today we're looking at the transformation of the game Tank Heads. Now Tank Heads is a tank PvP game from Danish developer Kilo Games. Kilo Games is best known for Subway Surfers, and like Subway Surfers, Tank Heads is very colourful, accessible, arcade gameplay, and designed for a younger audience. Okay, it is a PvP tank game, but we can see here very simple controls, very colourful, not too complex. Although it is a bit more complex than just moving and hitting the big red fire button. So there are power-ups. I'm going to get a rocket launcher here. And there is also a special attack that I get by holding down the orange button for a few seconds to get a power-up attack. Apart from that, you move around the level, you collect power-ups, you shoot your enemies and try and hit the number one spot. That's the basic gameplay. And very nice it is too. Here's the meta game. So this is the tank we've got that we can upgrade. Of course, there are other tanks we can unlock and also upgrade, have different characteristics, of course, and that seems all well and good. The one thing I wasn't very sure about in the game were these colourful characters who were attached to each tank. I particularly wasn't sure about having these kind of female characters. And it looks like Kilu has had a rethink. So this is the most recent update we're looking at now. Obviously, we can see the splash screen's changed, a bit less kind of colourful. And this is the game. Um, there's only one map. Um, you only have fire and move, so all the kind of power-ups and clever things like that have been stripped away. Now, obviously, the game will not be released in this form because it's just too basic. But what is interesting is previously we had a game that had everything you wanted in a game and could have been released if the developer had wanted to, but clearly um, had some misgivings about it and has now stripped the game down to its basic gameplay to see if it can come up with something better. Now, it's not often you see this kind of radical change in a game that is in soft launch testing. So we'll definitely be keeping an eye on Tankheads to see how it turns out.